three. Welcome to ABM, ABM Talk, Talk with, with our daughter, daughter babies. babies. Hi, I'm Rubai. You buy for short. I'm Sam. Nina. And I am Gia, your host for today's podcast. Welcome to our first episode of ABM Talk with our Donny Babies. Rubai, Sam, and Nina, are you all doing okay? Kaya pa ba natin dyan? Ay, gusto ko na lang talaga maging pumpkin, but yes, kakayanin. Um, Siyempre, ikaya natin to. For me naman, I'm doing okay. Kayang-kaya pa para sa future. Mabuti naman. At least, we are giving our best in all of our schoolwork and in our personal lives. So now, let us talk about our insights about business organizations, global economic development and problems, and CSR programs. But let us hear what they think about these topics first, starting with Sam. Today, companies operate in a dynamic environment. Various environmental forces can potentially affect business operations while essential for profitability, sustainability, and survival for businesses in the long run. Thus, it is crucial for managers to understand the various environmental factors, respond to gaps, and aid the company in terms of decision-making, confronting challenges, and propose solutions to address the problem. Well, looking back years up until now, hunger has been and still is a major problem in the Philippines. While it is primarily the role of the government to address the socioeconomic issue, it is often asked, since the business sector is regarded as the engine of the economy, can businesses help alleviate the hunger problem in the country? Uh, para sa akin, yes, business drives economic growth and development because it plays an important role in driving the economic growth and development of a country. Thank you, thank you, thank you for those insights, Sam and Nina. Let us start with our reflection already. Rubai, why do you think business organizations play a key driver to economic growth and development? And why do you think the global economy has significantly changed? Um, business organizations play as a key driver to economic growth and development of a country because it provides a variety of services that people can utilize in order to have a better quality of life. When people have a better quality of life, the economy also rises and develops. For example, um, business enterprises create new jobs and provide employment for people. Like They also assist in providing housing and health services for the people. Aside from that, private educational institutions like ADSU, for example, um, which can also be considered as a business because like they run a private school, they provide quality education to students. Lastly, when the business sector increases, individuals get their respective choice to decide where they want to spend their money, like what malls and banks offer when certain individuals want to buy things that make them happy, or when they want to invest their money so they would make use of it in the long run. This is why, basically, business organizations play a vital role in the development of economic growth. Like, there are also two significant aspects that has influenced the change of the global economy. Um, the first one is the capacity to produce or manufacture. Basically, manufacturing industries help in modernizing agriculture, which forms the backbone of our economy. It also reduces the heavy dependence of people on the agriculture sec sectors and creates jobs in secondary and tertiary sectors. Mm, this changes the economy because when a country cannot 
or doesn't have enough resources to manufacture certain certain products or services it will affect the agricultural aspect of the country and so will the job opportunities for people because manufacturing helps in raising the living standards of individuals second second is the capacity to distribute or transport the distribution or transportation of products or services improve the overall accessibility of the sectors that needs it for example it improves the organization's ability to provide quality services. This changes the global economy because it gives us a wide range of the market. The transportation of raw materials, resources, products, equipments, and etc. It's easy. It's they're all easy. The tran- the transportation is all easy. So like with this. Employment will also be accessible for individuals because when transport facility increases, the need for motor vehicles, ships, and other transportations are also needed. So it really helps the economy. To, it really helps just like in general um, to, um, it helps the economy to grow and develop. Wow, I really love that Rubai gave us her comprehensive ideas about the questions. Sam, if you were a businessman or an entrepreneur, how can you help to alleviate social and economic problems? And give at least three reasons why business organizations play an important role in the economy. If ako man ay maging isang businessman or entrepreneur, pwede ko matulungan i-alleviate ang social and economic problems by finding and introducing innovative technologies, products, and services para i-boost ang economic growth. I can also provide new job opportunities for people who don't have a stable job to help or give them essential needs in their daily life. Because due to the poverty, people are having a hard time in buying their necessities and with that being said, problems will arise like malnutrition. Lastly, I think providing new job opportunities can help the society. There are three reasons why business organizations play an important role in the economy. First, businesses play an important role in in providing housing and health services to the people. Second, as the business sector increases, people's purchasing power, individuals get additional options on where to spend their money. Lastly, Business organizations create new jobs and provide employment for people. Thank you, Sam, for that wonderful take on the questions given. Your perspective towards the business world is a thumbs up. Okay, next is Nina. Please give at least three factors that contributed to global economic development and why. Economists generally agree that economic development and growth are influenced by four factors, human resources, physical capital, natural resources, and technology. But now, let's focus on the top three factors that contributed to global economic growth development, human resources, natural resources, and technology. First, the impact of human resources, the skills, education, and training of the labor force have a direct effect on the growth of an economy. A skilled, well-trained workforce is more productive and will produce a high-quality output that adds efficiency to an economy. Second, the quantity and availability of natural resources. The quantity and availability of natural resources affect the rate of economic growth. The effectiveness of a country at utilizing and exploiting its natural resources is a function of the skills of the labor force, type of technology, and availability of capital. Skilled and educated workers are able to use these natural resources to spur the growth of the economy. Third, the improvements in technology. The application of better technology means the same amount of labor will be more productive. The economic growth will advance at a lower cost. Countries that recognize the importance of the four factors that affect economic growth will have higher growth rates and improved standards of living for their people. 
technological innovation, and more education for workers will improve economic output which lead to a better living environment for everyone. Increases in labor productivity are much easier to achieve when investments are made on a better equipment that require less physical work from the labor force. That is one great answer, Nina. You really know a lot about the global economy. Gia, last question. Now we would love to hear your answer for this one. Mm, it's a lot of pressure, but sige. No pressure. Kaya mo to. All right. So, um, the question is, if you were given a chance to develop a CSR programs, first of all, what are these? Tapos, choose and propose one CSR program which you think is the best advocacy for you and why. I want to include environmental sustainability, investment in youth education, charities, rehabilitation, and assisting research into diseases without a cure. Every year, gusto ko mag-grant ng 1 to 3 million pesos each for my CSR programs. In environmental sustainability, I would invest heavily in reducing water consumption, eliminating landfill waste, investing in renewable energy and reducing energy consumption to 50% in an average day. Second, every year I would love to give scholarships and benefits to 50 youths who are in dire need of quality education. Third, every quarter of the year I would love to host different kinds of charities, one for the poor, one for the orphans, one for the elderly, and one for all. Fourth, giving opportunities to people who have suffered from an injury and abuse for a long time. In rehabilitation, I would give these people opportunities to start over again by teaching them new skills to learn. And lastly, assisting in the research of diseases without a cure. It is in my advocacy to give hope to those people who have these diseases. I want to give back to them by giving funds to the discovery of their cure. Gusto ko yung answer mo, Gia. You do have a wonderful vision to give back to the people in the future. Yes! Thank you everyone for being a sport today. And that concludes our pilot episode for our podcast. If you have any more questions, please contact us on our FB page or Facebook page, ABN Talk with Our Gonna Babies. Until next time, I am Gia. Bye! Sam! And Dina, bye!